All right, so welcome to part two of this uh, video. And, you know, so let me tell you the source of confusion uh, in the case of work done. Now, for example, if you go back to class 11th and, uh, you know, you studied uh, work done and then you relate that work done to the chapter of gravitation. In the case of gravitation, you know, we did study that the body potential energy or loses potential energy. And in this process, you know, because it's a conservative field, there is no loss of energy because energy keeps on interchanging between uh, kinetic energy and potential energy. And whatever work is done is done uh, and that gets shown up in the form of increase in kinetic energy or, in, you know, increase in potential energy. But there are two ways to look at work. Now, one is a work done by a human being who picks up a mass, raises the height of the work, you know, sorry, the mass. And we say, you know, work has been done by the human being against the force of gravity. And then the same work can be, you know, seen from the point of view of uh, the you know, Earth's gravitation. And we can say Earth's gravitational field also worked. So the same work has two stakeholders. One stakeholder is the Earth's gravitational field, which is also saying, I have also done work. The human being or the external agency, which has picked up the mass, is also saying, saying that work has been done. So we need to distinguish this work done between the work done by the gravity and the work done by the human being. 